Hello, everyone. Today, I am welcoming one of our amazing clear coders, Sabrina. Sabrina, welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you here today. Everyone, this is Sabrina. She is an amazing clear coder. She has an incredibly outgoing and positive personality. She loves to spend her time with close friends and family, and sh her passions involve actually doing a lot of research for makeup and skincare products, especially after the clear code, now that she gets to use more fun stuff. And in the future, she would love to work in fashion. She loves yoga, the springtime walks in nature, and experimenting in the kitchen. So welcome again, Sabrina. I'm so excited to have you on today to talk about your experience on The Clear Code. And I think we can just kind of start at the beginning. Tell us a little bit about your acne journey prior to finding The Clear Code. So my acne journey prior to finding clear coat, it was on and off. Like there was years when I would have clear skin and then years it would like, it would just pop up or I would go months with clear skin and then it would just come back and I couldn't get to the root causes, even though I heard everything like skincare wise, going to doctors, improving my diet, working out, changing pillowcases, All every single pillowcases. thing that... Right. Everything, every single thing that I could read about, I implemented it, especially in my environment or what I was trying to put in on my body. But then I got more harm when I started started to go for treatments, like whether topical treatments or dermatologists or even skincare, trying to just explore. Like in my head, I think the biggest mistake that I did was I was trying to put on calming ingredients, a lot of calming ingredients in order to soothe my skin, thinking I'm not putting any actives. I'm okay. just putting calming ingredients through toners and essences and stuff. And that will help me calm my skin. But it never really did anything unless uh, like apart from just giving me a slight glow on my skin yeah. <laughs> that's all yeah I know a lot of people a lot of people that come to me before the clear code they have very elaborate skincare routines I think yours did have a lot of steps to it right yes it did yeah. <laughs> and you had worked with someone prior to the clear code a little bit from an acne perspective right yes I did could you tell us a little bit more about that experience so that experience, again, it was good while I was working with them, like while I was using, so they had like, they used to also sell like their own skincare line and products, like, and she did really help me like, um with like my skin, but it was only temporary, like I didn't get, it was only if I like, ate certain things or put her products, like my skin was better, and it yeah. got better. But the minute I stopped doing those things, like I stopped using her products, or like stopped juice cleansing and stuff like that my skin got back to like eventually got back to where uh and maybe it got worse I would say like it was like like an after effect that I stopped doing it yeah so I didn't find it sustainable like the help was very much appreciated but it was not sustainable that's a key detail right it's like if we find these external things that can help us for a little bit it's nice it's good but we need a plan to keep yes. being clear for life, right? So tell me, do you remember what exact things you were searching or where you were searching when you found me? I mostly, like I follow a lot of um, people on TikTok. Yeah. Like I just follow their pages just because I'm always on TikTok scrolling. Yep. And my feed always looks like skincare or nutrition or fashion. Like these are the three things. So I'd seen your videos a lot. Like they were like, once you like a video, then it's recommended. It comes into your recommendations that, oh, you've liked your, their content. There's yeah. something that might interest you. And then I just took, um, like, just like as a viewer, you have this, like, quiz that you can take, like a skincare quiz. So yeah. I just took that. Like, we just get an email link and we just take that quiz. And I found that really interesting because... Like I hadn't seen that type of technology that someone lets you do a quiz for free yeah, <laughs> without yeah. actually joining their course. Like, you know, normal consumers or viewers of your content cannot like, I didn't know that that was possible. So I'm like, okay, then I started watching more of your videos to have like a gist of like, what exactly are you teaching people and how are you helping them? Because I did talk to a lot of skin coaches, uh, which have a similar background to you. Yeah. But again, like theirs was more, I would say money making business than helping so that's why like after like giving the first conversations I just stepped out because I was not willing to like just spend money for the sake of spending money I wanted something out of it and it's not also about money like I would have only gotten that knowledge until I spent money in it yeah uh, after that like I couldn't keep that knowledge anything and then when I talked to you I kind of felt in our first meeting only like this is something which will help me out because the way you explained your program and the plan and how everything is going to be, uh, I got very, very hopeful. And um, hence, 
I joined uh yeah Euphoria. oh that makes me so happy I you've had so many amazing skin wins your <laughs> shares in the Facebook group make my millennium and what about what I shared that you saw made you feel hopeful could you point to like one key detail okay so I also started watching your YouTube videos so that has really helped me like obviously there are a lot of creators and people who create content on the same topic but yours is very like you state that I'm not a doctor or scientist so that is something where you know we know like you're not trying to claim something that you like you have like done education on but you you have experienced it or helped people and done your research on so that's something I would say is very informative like even if someone do doesn't know you yeah. if they go to YouTube and watch your one video and yeah. I saw your comments like the the comments underneath your people might not follow you or are not a part of your program but from that those videos they can become a part of your program and get to know you more because your videos are really fun it really informative the way they're like that's what caught my eye too and when I joined the program when we were doing courses we're supposed to watch some youtube videos that you post about like hormonal acne or fungal acne and i saw those and they made me more knowledgeable okay what do i need to do like exactly what do i need to do step by step so yeah. i think that's something which is very helpful in your program oh that makes me so happy so at the beginning of the program how were your first few weeks i know you came in and we talked about a lot what was the biggest piece of information that you received at the beginning that really opened your eyes about your acne I think the biggest piece of information when we did our initial roots trigger assessment in that when you when I step by step, there were so many questions that I had to answer. But my main question was my skincare routine. And the minute I changed my skincare routine, everything changed for me. Obviously, like everything in the clear core recipes is something that is used in our Indian household on a daily basis cooking too, because we use a lot of root vegetables. Yeah. So I was like, even if I don't make a soup out of the root vegetable, I can cook those root, root vegetables and eat it because our household. So I didn't find like following the food that difficult like even I, I made my family try the recipes and my me and my mom used to have the same dinners and lunches just because we still cook together or wow. she used to cook for me and then yeah. it was like it used to go on days and I've discovered so many interesting recipes that like I can keep on and I can you know even if I move around it like the food has really really helped me with my digestion with how I feel like overall my health I felt Right, like okay I'm gonna put in more veggies like this is helping me to get more veggies and fruits in or different recipes you know like your brain can obviously go and make those type of recipes but once you have like a meal plan in front of you so you're like oh wow like you can make this with this like that will taste good like I never imagined having sweet potato in breakfast <laughs> yeah right I know that's one of the the fan fave recipes for sure yeah so I think when I discovered because I discovered a lot of things some people People told me like in the past, like my doctors that you have hormonal acne. Some told yeah. me, oh, you have rosacea, something like that. So I've tried literally every type of skin type condition treatment and nothing worked for me. But when I discovered that currently in my life, I was going through fungal acne and I changed my skincare routine to very simple steps and exactly the same thing as you told me, as you directed it. The next day, I'm telling you, the next day I changed all my products. I, I don't care. It's okay. Like everything is drug ba uh, drugstore based. It's not that expensive. I have to dump them. I cannot hold on to my old products just in just for the sake of finishing them. Like initially you don't see results, and, but I was so hopeful like with taking yeah. my pictures like yep. every week my pictures were changing like they were becoming so much better like my redness was reducing and everything and in the last two weeks like I was really worried when I went to India for one week yeah. just because I thought that how will I eat like eat there and like what if the water affects my skin and I'm going on a wedding and like all of that like I'm like what if like nothing suits me there and what will I do but everything was fine. And I realized that it's not about the water of the place. It's mostly about how you maintain yourself, even in a changing environment. And my grandmother, she fed me, literally, she fed me soup and boiled vegetables there. Yeah. Because she's like, it's so, and in India, you get a lot of like root vegetables in this like winter season because people are very like, they want to keep cozy and nutritious. So my grandmother was making me like, oh, and she used to make me like broken wheat with like a little bit of jaggery, like everything nutrition filled. And I had 
had so much like I had vegetarian mostly during that week but everything was like I didn't feel like I'm I'm having something which is which affected my skin in fact like my I had that glow like the winter India glow by having all those good things there so yeah. food was no issue like the minute I landed there my grandmother just took care of it and then skincare was also not because I didn't change anything I only wore the makeup which was safe to wear and I only was sa using the same so my worries are like now if I travel anywhere in the world yeah. I have my recipes it's in like, my head or my ingredients you know like an ingredient list okay yes a little here and there is fine but that's what I've learned to manage and balance like obviously like a cookie here and there or a piece of cake or you know like I want to have a bit of soda or a little bit of chips that's fine but overall throughout the week or during the day how much have I had good food like root vegetables or vegetables with soup and I just I'm giving you all the information in one no, question I'm so happy please but keep going the quiz that we took with like the Ayurveda quiz finding our uh, like doshas and I have pita dosha so yeah. when I learned more about them I'm like I'm already eating these foods but there's some foods that I need to change mm -hmm. that are going to help me balance it so I, that's what I experienced. I'm like, why do I get, like, why cannot I tolerate spice? Mm -hmm. And I learned because I have pita dosha. Like, I'm supposed to keep my body environment cool by having cooling ingredients or cool foods like cucumbers or lettuce, more of that and, and less of, like, sweet vegetables or less of, like, inflammatory things. Even, yeah. like, I read, like, I am supposed to have ginger in moderation because sometimes, like, too much of ginger will create, like, an increase of inflammation in my body. And mostly I keep in my head my pita dosha because I'm like that's going to balance my body it all come to that it came to that so now I just keep an ingredient list in my head okay this is going to maintain the coolness in my body so I'm going to have more of this and these type of uh, exercises such as yoga or walks or hiking and stuff like that has season changes this is going to maintain the coolness in my body and I also somehow learned that I was doing the same type of workout and that's why my skin was helping me out too because I did a lot of yoga and non-sweaty workout right. that's what I experienced like the minute my skin experienced sweat like too much sweat mm -hmm. it got very very red and that was related to my pita dosha because I'm supposed to keep my body at a cool temperature and I was like that's so amazing like not in the other world what I've researched like what is a dosha I didn't even know what is a dosha I have so many people in my life who are struggling with their skin and hair and I'm going to share that information with them like you can take quizzes like these and you can find out like what you're going through with your body like you don't need to go to doctors like you can literally do your own research and find out like what is temporarily wrong with me that I can fix permanently yeah. so that's one thing I take from clear code oh that makes me so happy oh I remember one of our big key focuses or discussions when we first hopped on the phone was you wanted to make sure you could have all of the food that you're eating at home with your family Right. And that was when, you know, each client is a little different. They have a different priority, right? Sometimes I work with athletes and they want to make sure they're getting a certain amount of protein. Sometimes I work with nurses and they have different types of schedules. And then other times I work with people who are from very specific parts of the world and they want to eat it in a very specific way. And they want to make sure they can still maintain all of those traditions in their life. And it's integral to me that that is possible in the clear code. So I'm so glad to hear that you are cooking with your mom, that you share the recipes with your mom, that your grandma has cooked you semi clear code recipes in India that literally makes my brain explode with joy. It makes me so happy, Sabrina. Besides kind of fungal acne skincare and some of the stuff we just talked about, was there anything else you realized about acne clearing that made you say, like, I feel like estrogen detoxification has been key for you? I feel so too, because I'm about to start my period in a few days. Like I've got that feeling in my body. Yeah. And I've noticed like one or two pimple here and that I know, I know it's only and only because of estrogen dominance. Yeah. And what I like, I try to do little things, but maybe drink a little bit more water, try to, especially one thing that helped me most, if I try to keep my stress levels low, yeah. my skin is doing a lot better before period. When I touch my skin, it feels like baby's bum. 
And that's number one for me because it's okay if I get a one, two pimple here. Mm -hmm. But my skin texture has improved so much that my skin feels soft. So that means my skin is healthy. Yeah. One or two pimple is probably a result of something coming out of my body that needs to come out. That's the texture of your skin has transformed entirely, Sabrina. So that's amazing. It sounds like too, you feel more in control of your skin, Yes, which is fantastic. And I know too, again, back to your, Sabrina is amazing at sharing clear skin wins in our Facebook <laughs> group. And I wanted to know, I know acne can kind of be isolating. Did you find sharing those wins to be helpful and supportive for you on your journey? Absolutely. I think and it was not one day in the course that I felt like I'm ashamed to share what I have, even mm -hmm. if I was not doing great. Like I just felt inspired because I'm like, everyone's doing it. So no one's going to judge me and it's a safe place. And I think I'm always going to be part of that group because even if I exit this course, like as in doing the course, obviously my knowledge is there and my clear code is there but I can I know that I can always go there and just like you know randomly just write a skin win or ask for information and I'll get those answers because like it's like a lifelong team that I have there and I've, I've become a part of it two final questions the first one is how we kind of touched on it but how are you feeling about your skin now compared to when you first began I think I'm feeling, as you can see, very confident. I'm very happy. When I look at my skin, I'm like, wow. And surprisingly, my makeup's been going on really good. Ever since I've changed, started looking at ingredients mm -hmm. and not as like, I want to try out this product, but only at the ingredients. Yeah, It doesn't affect my skin. So now if I'm only wearing Malassezia safe mm -hmm. makeup, my skin is the same even after I remove my makeup. There's no redness. I don't get any rashes. There's no itching. bumps. Yep, yep, yep. No itching. Like I haven't experienced itching, knock on the wood, in like these eight weeks. Yeah. Ever since I changed my skincare and my makeup, yeah. not. Because I like to wear makeup. Sometimes, you know, you like to wear makeup when you go out. And yeah. I didn't, I always felt like like every girl wears makeup. And then when they remove it, their skin's the same. Why is my like, like as if it had an explosion? Like what is wrong with it? Yeah. yeah. But now I wore makeup two days in a row. And even in India, I wore makeup like, on every event, my skin was the same. I didn't get any new bump, no nothing. Then I discovered that if I'm only getting acne, it's because of an internal trigger and especially pre-period, which a lot of women experience. And I think that's very normal. Like I know, like if I get one on my job, that's hormonal acne, what time it is, what period it is. I just know that. But externally, my skin isn't been affected by anything. No heat, no cold, no skincare product, no makeup product. I love it. What do you do if and when you break out a little bit before your period? What action steps do you take? So I think number one, I obviously get sugar cravings too. So yeah. I try to control my sugar too, because somewhere like I'm giving into my stress by eating sugar. And also like I try to just drink like teas and stuff. Or maybe I'll bring like peppermint tea or dandelion tea. Or I like coffee, but I try to drink like when I'm out, like I can get a matcha latte, you know, like that has antioxidants. So like just like little things they just boost my mood. And I, I feel like when my mood is boosted, then nothing matters. My mood is boosted. I'm happy. So one or two, it's going to go away. I have that mentality because skin is skin, as you say. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And I lied. Sorry. Two more questions. Do you mind sharing some of your stress lowering tips? I know you said that that's been a big part yeah. of healing your skin. Could you maybe share two to three things that you've done that have helped to lower your stress significantly to positively impact your skin? I think number one is I'm mostly doing yoga as a form of workout. Also, I mostly get to work out when I'm coming back from work. So it's a long day of work. A lot of people associate yoga as like, oh, you're only breathing. But you can do every level of yoga workout and get a very good workout out of it. Because I don't think so working out is equal to sweat. It's about your heart rate. Like yeah. how and how you feel internally. So with yoga, like my stress levels at the end of the workday, they're controlled. And I have a very peaceful night. And the second tip is I always try to talk to a loved one. Like Aww. when I'm engaging socially, everything in my head which creates stress, it's gone away because I'm in a different world. So yeah. I'm actually socializing more this upcoming year. I'm meeting more friends. I'm talking to more friends and not being just in my alone zone. Because the more I was in my shell, the more I was overthinking and the more I was stressed. 
So I'm trying to like come out and become more social and think, look at the bigger picture in life, uh, engaging in little things. So these are number two tips. Like I think if you talk, talk to a loved one about anything you engage, I know not a lot of people are comfortable being that social, but really talking to them helps lower your stress. Like you can talk to them about anything, maybe a phone call or anything or going out for a coffee date or shopping date or whatever. I've been doing that a lot and been connecting to a lot of family and friends. So that has helped my stress levels, my mood, how I feel a lot. That's amazing. Has having clearer skin, do you think impacted how much you reach out to people? Has that impacted you at all? Yes, definitely. Because now I know that no one is looking at my skin. Like even if we were family, even if they never commented, I still felt like today I'm not having a skin, good skin day, but I have to go out. And I've, I've always been the type of person, like I never hid my insecurities under makeup. Yeah. Like I never did that. Like if my skin is bad, it's bad. I obviously had those thoughts, but now like... Even if I get one or two bumps or my skin is a little red, I just go out. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I feel confident in my skin mm -hmm. and I don't care how I look on the outside. Like, I don't need to wear a layer of makeup and I don't, I don't even overthink. That's the number one thing. So I think that's changed a lot. Oh, I feel like that's probably been the biggest mindset shift for you, right? Yes. Like, this not being so hyper-focused. And final question, if you could go back in time and tell yourself, give yourself any piece of advice or encouragement before you started your clear code journey, what would you say to yourself? I know it's kind of a funny question, but like <laughs> before you joined, what would you, what would you tell your past self? I think I would tell my past self this one major thing that you will find the answer. Mm. There's always an answer and you will find the answer. Oh. And I found my answer. I think I will always keep finding my answer. Like there's no full stop to it. Like you will always keep doing research and you always discover new things about your body, right? Yeah. I know like obviously like tests at the doctor help. Like I still am waiting on my results because like in Canada, like sometimes results take longer, but now I don't even care. I'm like, yeah, yeah. whatever the results are, I did my yeah. research. I found my answers. Like even if I get those answers, maybe they'll help me a little bit more. But I did like uh, through clear code, like we, there were some like experiments that we could do. Like mm -hmm. I remember this particular like dairy milk product yeah. products, like allergy test that I did on myself because yeah. here getting like test appointments is like very delayed. And I wanted to know back there because that was in my head, the biggest trigger. But I just did the milk products and dairy allergy test for five days and I didn't find anything. I'm like, maybe in my head, I'm thinking like too much. Like it's not a big deal. And no, seriously, because of that test, I was able to rule out, okay, this major food group doesn't have anything. I, I'm having gluten too, like when I need to, I'm having dairy too when I need to, right? But it doesn't affect my skin. It was always in my head that that food group affected my skin. Certain things I still feel like, but like if I have it once or twice, it does not affect my skin. We don't inhale gluten or dairy like, okay, maybe a little goat cheese on the salad yeah, yeah. or, you know, one roti or I don't know, like a, maybe a coffee made with regular milk and not oat milk yeah. it didn't do anything in india i was having dairy <laughs> yep. i was having dairy based coffee and yeah. it didn't do anything to anything. my skin that makes me so happy most people come to the i'd say 90 percent of my clients come to the clear code having misidentified those root triggers and then they've restricted a ton with food groups yeah. and it makes me sad because i know that sucks and you don't have to live that way. So yeah. that makes me so happy to hear that you felt so much freedom and watching your journey has been incredible. I'm so thankful to have had you as a client to still have you, Sabrina. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I became part of the Clear Coders team and you, Jill. It has been a wonderful journey and I think my journey will keep going on. Even if I practically don't put into my journey, I'm always there and I always know that I have this this team to look back at or be a part of moving forward too. I'm very thankful and glad. Yay! That makes me so happy.